Ranch Clean and Cook. It's Wild and Ride on Jeremy. That's where the magic happens, right over there. Don't forget, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, it was a hard, hard day. I've destroyed my spear gun, but let me show you why it was worth it. Welcome to St. Croix, where we spent nine days on this beautiful island in this awesome beachside condo. When I say beachside, I mean check out this awesome view. Absolutely amazing. Fresh breeze and the whole beach pretty much just to us couldn't be better. So I saw the starfish right after I dove into the beach and I thought it was really pretty. But I needed to bring some fish home so I pulled out the gun and I'm not, I wasn't used to using this gun, so I definitely missed a lot. But once I got everything figured out, roller guns are definitely where it's at. Accuracy, power, distance is all there. And if you're definitely gonna be out diving and you don't have a boat, definitely use a float. This XS scuba and this Mako fish bag were perfect. And they definitely work if you're gonna solo dive, which I really don't recommend because it is really dangerous. But as I dove down, I saw this manta ray and I tried to swim over to it, but I was really far away and he was really fast. So I had to kind of end my pursuit with that and I had to get back to fishing. So I've got really bad ADHD. And as I was out fishing, I saw these stingrays, right? And I was like, man, they're really pretty. But I was like, whoa, they're really too close to me. And I was like, I'm not trying to meet Steve Irwin right now. So y'all gotta go. But as I left, I saw this little turtle. And I'm gonna call this turtle Edward. And he just kept doing his little turtle thing. But at one point he started blocking me on my fish. And I'm like, Edward, you gotta go, bro. Like, I got fish I need to bring home. But then I was like, yo, Edward looks really cool. So I went to go see him. And this dude right here was sneaky and huge. So I had to stay away from him. But I almost thought I was going to get my first lobster right. And I grabbed him and I pulled it out. And then I realized that it's not a lobster. And it's just a husk. So I went out fishing some more. And I smoked this giant barracuda. And I was so happy about it because it was huge. Look at the size of him. Oh, we are eating good tonight. So I had to go show Katie real quick because I was definitely out solo diving like I wasn't supposed to be. But after that, I went out and I saw a lobster and I was like, I'm gonna get him. But he was too fast for me. So that's where that ended. Like I've never cooked these fish before. Never done this. Catch, clean and cook. Uh, it was a hard, hard day. I've destroyed my spear gun. I'll have to totally redo all my bands. I gotta figure out some other little nit bits there. But let me show you why it was worth it. Bam! That's right. Ooh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Dude, look at the teeth on that. Ugh. Got most of the scale off. Butter knife works great. We're gonna cut the head off. So to cut the head off, we got gill rakers right here. So you can see what I'm lifting up. It's right behind the gill rakers. There we go, cut right through that spine. Cut this tail. <laughs> what I do, we're gonna make cuts. Think about uh, this. That, that, and then we're going to stop, okay, got a few steaks there, here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fillet this down, Ooh, ooh. All right, so 
I don't really do a whole lot of cooking, but I do do some grilling, but I just kind of had to work with whatever was in the cabinet. So a little salt, a little pepper, some Tony's, put some olive oil, some uh, soy sauce, probably some Worcestershire sauce on there, and I'm going to go ahead and let that marinate. And while we're letting it soak, let's go back out to the beach and let's go do some paddle boarding, which is a lot harder than it looks. You're good. You're good. Just stand. I understand. I need a rest. All right. So once all that was good and marinated, we're gonna get this meat up on that heat so we can get to eating it. And these do look fabulous. Now I haven't really like grilled fish steaks before, so this was a new thing for me. So I was really afraid I was gonna overcook them and stuff. Uh, but I, I thought my marinade might be pretty good, but you know, just in case, I went ahead and whipped up this little, like, uh, I guess a little butter sauce so that way I could try to keep some juice up in there and everything, but I kept catching everything on fire, but they look amazing. I cannot wait to eat these. All right. Huda, I'm a little nervous. What do you think? Right. Not yet. Okay. One, two. This one tastes like fish. Oh, well, not bad. It's really flaky. No fish taste. Oh, yeah, I think my seasonings weren't the greatest. It is kind it's of bland. Dry. dry. Mm -hmm. I might overcook it. No, it's not so bad. But, uh. Yeah! Mmm! So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the nice video. Catch, clean, and cook. It's wild and ripe on Jeremy. That's where the magic happens, right over there. Don't forget, guys, like and subscribe.